If Amazon removes your product or asks for some pesticides information, it can be a little confusing and exactly the opposite of transparent. Do we know how Amazon responds to most use cases and tickets? Not exactly the funnest experience. My name is Stephen Pope and I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. And in this video, I'm just gonna walk you through how to quickly fix anything related to pesticides and let's jump right in. So back in 2020, we did a video demonstrating this. This same information still applies today. There's no changes to that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit edit on the particular product in question, control F or go to the compliance section and hit control for pesticides or pests. And you're gonna see these three sections in here. And part of the reason why I'm putting out this video today is because um, there's a lot of confusion about like what is a pesticide. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about that. But before I do that, here is the quick solution, regardless of what type of item you have. If you want this to go away and you're not selling a pesticide, just simply click this drop box and hit EPA registration number. Because if you don't do that, when you go to fill this out and hit, hey, this is exempt, what happens? You get a little red error message right there, right? So you just have to hit registration number like that. And then this product qualifies for an exemption. Um, we've all we've used both options, the middle and the bottom. We don't seem to get a very different response, um, but some people I talk to at Amazon say that they prefer to see the exemption status. Um, but after you do this and you hit save, um, your product can be reinstated if it's been taken down or if they've just sent you the typical pesticides email note, it'll go away and you won't see anything else come of it. So those are the main typical things you need to worry about. But in terms of understanding like what actually makes a pesticide, keep in mind the following. There's two government agencies. There's the EPA, which does register uh, different pesticides products, right? So this is like, hey, I'm gonna fertilize my corn in the ground. But then there's the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration. And what people don't realize frequently is that things such as insect repellent that you put on your body, that's actually not a pesticide because it is, it is regulated by the FDA and it goes on your body typically, right? So if you were gonna spray some mosquito repellent on your skin, that is not a pesticide. That is actually something that's regulated by the FDA. So that's why you would go into the system right here and mark this is exempt. Um, other items that are not necessarily even remotely close to being called a pesticide, you could probably mark as the middle option, not a pesticide, and this will go away. So if you have any trouble with this, we've also released, so if you go to Google right now and just type in pesticides test, let's see if I come up first. Nope, not quite. But if you type in pesticides test, my Amazon guy, You'll see my video right here. We actually released the key to the pesticides test because we think it's ridiculous that hundreds and hundreds and thousands of sellers have had to take a test about pesticides when they don't have anything remotely close to it. So we just released the answer key for your viewing pleasure. So check out that video. We'll link it here as well. Anytime you have a challenge on Amazon, if you just type in the problem, plus my Amazon guy at the top, we have thousands of videos where we talk about all of these different things and how to solve them and get around the system. Um, Amazon's culture, very much an escalatory culture. They have, um, you know, they're, they're people that are on the front line. They have to follow rigid processes. But you have to understand, like, how to solve these problems, get around the system, um, and get around the bureaucracy, quite frankly. So, all right, let me know in the comments what you think or if you have any other tips or things, things you wish we would cover on the content. We do take requests, and I personally read every single comment on our channel. We'll see you soon.